And, you know, you have to be willing. You truly have to be willing to shed it all to get something new. You have to be willing to release and take off that jacket that you've been wearing. For me, my jacket was weight. For some people, that jacket is victimhood. For some people, that jacket is fear. For some people, And you've worn that jacket because at one time that jacket actually protected you from something. But you now feel like Godzilla in an apartment building. You have outgrown the coat. You look like, you know, baby Huey, you know. It just doesn't fit anymore. And you're trying to get in, and you're wondering why life is so uncomfortable. You have a new reality with an old conversation, you know. And so you have to shed. But sometimes you have to shed some people in your space. And I don't mean let them go forever. I don't mean, you know, totally outcast them. But I do mean you might have to love them from a distance. Yeah. While you while you are reinventing yourself. Now, I mean that on such a real sense that I, when my son was five years old, I packed up my son. I had saved over three and a half years. I had saved $62,000. I didn't go out to eat. I didn't get my hair done. I didn't get my nails done. I sold my new car, bought an old car. I moved out of my home and moved in with a friend, moved in her spare bedroom, and she smoked. So it was really difficult for me. But I was okay with that. I'd do whatever it takes, no matter what. And I saved 62000 thousand dollars over three years that's my no I was no matter what about my life after three years I packed up my my little five-year-old boy in my SUV put my my um my furniture in U-Haul and drove up the 405 freeway towards San Diego not knowing what was there but I knew something was there for me and I had to go get it I said God I'll give the dream five years can I give it actually God said I need you to give it five years and I said okay I said I'm gonna put everything in it because I was too distracted in my world I was doing everything God said I need you to work on transforming teen lives that's my assignment for you give away everything give up everything I had a huge yard sale at my grandma's house sold everything for a little of nothing and then packed up the rest gave it to, to Goodwill bought new furniture and had it shipped directly to San Diego drove up the up the highway saw this big phone number on the side of the building and said baby looked at my son Jelani that's where we're going to live. And I dropped my, my new hat into a community that where I knew no one and so I'm not telling you to pack up and move please don't get your U-Hauls out but I am saying, say no matter what. I'm a daddy's girl. My mother's my, one of my closest friends. For me to move to another city 159 miles away, that was my ultimate commitment, my ultimate commitment to say no matter what to my dream, to give my dream a chance, to allow it to birth. I was impregnated. You're impregnated with something. When God gives you a vision, you are impregnated. You're supposed to take care of that dream as if you had a child in you. And you're supposed to give it out to the world the way you're supposed to. There's nothing you can do. I had a child at nine months. I didn't have to do anything. It, my son was coming. It just, it's natural. It's the natural flow. And the more you try to resist it and cross your legs and not let it out, the more small you're going to feel, the more unconscious, the more restricted you're going to feel. Let your dream out and do whatever it takes, no matter what, to make it, to let it out. And so, you know, my physically moving was the, exactly what you said, Steve. People weren't used to who I was becoming because they didn't know that person I didn't know that person I was redefining myself and so I had to drop myself for me this was just Lisa's thing I had to drop myself into a new community where I could birth I could be born into who I was becoming and all they would see was who I was becoming and so they didn't hold me tied to uh, old behaviors old habits and then I can reintroduce myself to my family with who I am powerful powerful stuff